Hi there, Poppin' PJ here. So the question is, why starting a YouTube channel is a brilliant idea even if nobody is watching? Well, I've been a YouTuber for two years and I am now starting to grow my subscribers, I would say in the past year, slowly but surely. I love doing YouTube because I have passions and I have a lot of knowledge that I would love to share and help people regarding living on a budget because I definitely have had to do that, um, especially since my divorce. And I've learned how to use all type of uh, tools, drills, saws, um, sanders, all these different things that I had never really used before. I have learned to use and make a lot of my own furniture. I'm so proud of myself. Some pieces come out better than others, but I want to share with people how you don't have to have a lot of money. You don't even have to have but very minimal tools to make really cool things. And with DIY, it's like, okay, if you're on a budget, you want nice furniture, you want a, a home with nice things, you know what? Make it happen. Go thrifting. Um, buy a piece of furniture and redo it yourself. It gives you such a good feeling when you have a of accomplishment. I love the feeling I get when I've completed a project, no matter what it is, a dance, uh, a table that I've refinished, you name it. It just makes me feel good. And I think when you have that energy of feeling good, it can be infectious. And so I wanna try to push it out there to give uh, good vibes. Very, very important to me because I feel like we need it. I feel like there's so much negativity out there. I don't understand why, but with my dancing or if there's fun moments of uh, me and my daughter or something funny or something beautiful with nature, just these anything that can put a smile on your face. And if you smile or if you do something that makes someone smile, I think that's really important. I also enjoy doing arts and crafts. I have a very creative mind. I always have, but now I'm in a time of my life where I can really focus on myself and do the things that I love and that I'm passionate about. I have knowledge that I would like to share with people regarding physical therapy. Education is so important and the internet has been great for that. I see so many people as a physical therapist that have significant functional decline and is to show people that, you know what, you need to be functional. And if you want to stay functional, because that's going to give you quality of life, then work on these things. And, you know, of course, with discussing it with your healthcare provider, of course, I mean, just from things on that you don't think about, but how to sit down to get your legs stronger. People use their cane on the wrong side. People don't know how to walk. Um, they're not, a, people aren't aware of how they're walking. So as a physical therapist, I am a healthcare provider and I educate people. And I feel that's the most important part of my job. And I felt, you know what? I can reach lots of people through the internet. So that's what I do. Fashion is another passion of mine. And that is because I talked about good vibes and good energy. I like to start my day feeling good and, and I like to dress a certain way that makes me feel good. And it doesn't have to be expensive clothes. I've taken and done a lot of DIY with fashion just for myself. I've shared a few things on YouTube, but I'm going to share more. But things that make you smile, whether it be wearing a pretty piece of jewelry, doing your hair a certain way that you've always wanted to do, whatever works for you. But for me, I love fashion. It is a passion. I think it's so cool how you can communicate with people across the country and even better than that, across the world. Like you all have the same interest. If they're like watching your video, then they must be interested in some things that you are and they can make a comment and you can comment back and we're hoping they're positive comments. I mean, I was uh, raised that if you have don't have something nice to say, you don't say it at all. But today, I think it's uh, something's changed because I think now people are like, if you don't if you don't have something nice to say, like you make sure you say it. 
And I don't get that. But in any case, when people are saying nice things to you or just communicating like, oh, you know, you inspired me. Like my mom has a birthday coming up. I, I did a dance video where someone responded, oh, you gave me a great idea. My mom's birthday's coming up. The dance moves that I did, the jive, the, the alligator, all these different things. And it just made me feel good that like somebody got inspired by my video, gave them some ideas for something that they wanna do for their mom. And just those kind of things just, I think are wonderful. I feel that starting a YouTube channel was out of my comfort zone. I never really enjoyed computers because they never seemed to work for me, whether it be at work, um, at home, but especially at work. So truthfully, a lot of times the computers at work don't work. So I didn't have patience. So it really uh, forced me to have patience. And I think what's really cool is that I have learned a whole new skill. I can tell from my earlier videos to where I am today, how much better I have become with editing my videos. The whole process of putting a video on YouTube is a creative process and that interests me. And again, I have become much better with that. And my thumbnails and my titles and all these things that are part of having a YouTube channel where you're trying to be successful. Even if I never monetize, I feel I am successful because the other thing is I don't live near my family, so I don't get to see them very often. So this is a way I can let my family be able to see what I'm up to and the cool things I'm making and put a smile on their faces. So I I feel that YouTube, I feel YouTube is a definitely a creative outlet. You have to be strong because there are always gonna be haters or people that are having a bad day, so they're gonna go and onto YouTube and say something negative. And you just have to make sure that you don't let that bother you and you keep doing what you want to do. You know, uh, life is good, but life can be tough. And life is too short. You know, we never know if we have tomorrow, but I don't look at it that way, but I'm just trying to say that life is too short. So you know what? Do what you love to do and life can be hard. So you got to make sure you have time for yourself. I think everyone should have a passion. I have many passions. And so for me, being a YouTuber is my time for myself. So with all of my passions and my last words to you are Pop and PJ has something for you because I probably do. And take the risk. If you want to do this, take the risk, see what happens. And as long as you are in the mindset like, hey, I'm willing to work hard because this is not an easy thing to do. But if you're really willing to work hard, stay consistent, and you love what you're doing, you'll be able to do that. And so if you don't monetize, don't think of it as not being successful.